All right, some other news now. A track coach and teacher at Diablo Valley College in Pleasant Hill has been charged with human trafficking. 39-year-old Kyle Lee Whitmore is accused of forcing two female victims into prostitution. He was arrested Thursday when one of the women came forward. The Contra Costa Community College District says some of the alleged offenses involve a student. It added in a statement, quote, we take seriously any accusations of inappropriate behavior by our employees and honor the expectation that our students, staff and visitors have to be safe when they visit our campuses. Are there checks and balances when it comes to hiring coaches? That's what we wanted to find out. What red flags or warning signs should parents pay attention to? I just talked with Pam Baker. She's the founder of the Women's Coaching Alliance. To find out what are the training requirements for these coaches, it's, it's pretty shocking to realize that about a third of youth coaches in the country are the ones that are trained. Two thirds go through no training at all. Many of them come in having played and they use that experience assuming that that is gonna be sufficient. We have our young coaches use this worksheet with their kids that they're coaching. And it's a really simple one that asks the kids to fill out. My favorite part about sport is, my least favorite part, of, part about sport is, or when I'm playing, I want my parent to. And it's just these quick little fill in the blanks. And even those kinds of questions can yield so much information that we can tune into and say, yep, that sounds about right, or ooh, that kind of raises a red flag for me. Here's a little background on the Women's Coaching Alliance. It holds workshops. In fact, here's a recent one in Burlingame to teach and empower young women to pursue coaching roles. Pam Baker also talked about the role parents play when it comes to coaching awareness. So here are some questions to ask. What qualities does the organization look for in their coaches? How do they determine who returns next season when it comes to coaching? Does the coach have an open practice, open door philosophy? And what is the experience of other parents with that coach in the community? And again, talk to your young athletes.